What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. It's honestly another beautiful day in Ohio where we're on a streak here and I I I respect it. I can't wait for it to be like fully spring. A couple days away, honestly, Sunday. I think it's daylight savings time, which means I think that's spring. I think I think that means it's spring. Everything I ordered from Amazon is just supposed to come today or we're supposed to come yesterday, but the gear oil and the push button switches ended up coming, or like the delivery date flipped, and they're coming today. So we won't have them till probably like nine o'clock at night when Amazon decides to show up. However, we've got all of our rock lights here. Uh, I'll probably mount one here, and then another one over here-ish, uh, right in the frame. I'll drill two holes and then run that uh, wire up, but uh, that'll give us a lot of light on the diff cover and then the, the bigger track bar mount on this side. There's less red over here, so it won't be exactly lit up in this area. But the three and the wheel well, I feel like, are gonna provide us with a ton of light, uh, especially with the truck being this low. Three in a row on the green ram gives us like plenty of light at 12 inches of lift. Three, pretty much on a almost stock rear truck. Obviously, it's on bags, but it's like a three inch level. The rear might be up an inch from, from stock or maybe right at stock. But uh, three back here are give us a ton of light and flood underneath the truck on this side. I'm thinking about getting some um, on these trailing arms, but we'll, we'll see where we can mount them because there's not really any place right here. Now, I've seen the comments, I've seen the questions. Where do you get your rock lights? Where do you get your rock lights? Where do you get your rock lights? I'm gonna be real. The ones on my green truck, Amazon. The ones that are going on this truck, straight up Amazon. Now, I am in the process of getting my own rock lights made. Now, a lot of you are like, oh, you haven't plugged the merch or anything recently. So, in the last couple months, we had a system going uh, for the whole merch and, um, you know, lifted and all that kind of side of this channel. But uh, we've had to change it up in the last couple months, get a new system going, get everything refired up. Uh, we've got two giveaways coming very soon. Yes, two giveaways. Uh, but I've also got my own rock lights being made. Um, I've got a whole bunch of new key tags coming. I've got a whole bunch of hoodies, shirts. I got I got stuff being, you know, designed, made, printed, and uh, all that. So we've got a lot of stuff coming. Like I said, even I'm making my own rock lights. I was hoping they were here for this truck. Uh, that was kind of one of the delays I've been waiting on. But I don't really have the extra time to wait for somebody to actually design like design and make me my rock lights so um, in that time we went with the same ones that are on the green truck because they haven't let me down yet uh, I think there's a link in the description if there's not there will be one it's literally Amazon and here's the thing I don't like the ones with the controller boxes I don't like the ones that connect to Bluetooth I don't like the ones that change 82 different colors um, they are truly more of a pain to install than ones that are just you know 12 volt Red and black wires. This is the, the, the easiest way and to me the best way. I, I've, had a, I've had a set of the color changing. I almost put on uh, the green truck, but no. As soon as I started installing it, it's a pain. The wires aren't long enough. You gotta buy extension cables, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Not worth it. You also gotta deal with like a controller box and a whole bunch of other crap that just is is very big and not, not a... Not at all fun to mount or any of that. So here they are, like I said, if you guys are interested in these, link in the description, but but if you guys kinda wanna wait out for a little bit till mine show up, and then you guys can get those. Like I said, mine will be on all my future builds coming up. But um, if you guys wanna wait for those, you can. Uh, probably be a couple weeks left, and then uh, we will have those here. And uh, I'm gonna put them in a whole kit for you guys with relays and all that, and you guys can just buy it and go, you should have almost everything uh, you need to run your rock lights. Without further ado, let's get into this, let's do this. I also wanna, I wanna get some of these ran today. Hopefully we can get them all drilled and all the liners. Um, I could put the liners in, but I'm not gonna bolt them in because a couple days from now, we're gonna be painting the fender flares, uh, just the OEM ones, but we're gonna be painting the, uh, the fender flares and we'll be putting those on, so I don't wanna put the screws in and out a bunch of times. Let's get to it.
guys, so what we just went through is pretty much got every rock light on this truck. I think I'm gonna run. I was gonna put one on the front axle, but there's not really any place for it, and it's gonna be quite low already to start with anyway, so I figure, I figure we're good there. So we got two bouncing off the rear axle. I, I plugged it in this battery here. I guess it's still here, so I might as well show you. There we go. All right, so obviously this one, like I said, the, the five inch exhaust that's gonna be here, uh, it may just poke out a little more, but it gives me some light there, shines off the axle uh, down there, kind of off the air dryer, not concerned with that. You come down here, um, obviously at night it's gonna look stellar and the other side really lights up the uh, other half of that track bar bracket and the uh, bag mount on that side and the other side of the diff cover and sway bar so although that exhaust will block it a little bit uh, it's kind of the best place for it because some of the light does still flood underneath and get a little bit more of this side than I hoped but um, yeah so we got two right here now here's the thing I'm just gonna stretch a lead out here. I think we're actually gonna get the bed on today. I'll just have the wires stick out, and then once the bed's on, I'll just be able to tap into this and connect all of these three to that one. Literally this half this way and that half that way. Each half will have a relay. Some people say you don't even need, you, you don't even need a relay for rock lights. I mean, if you're running a couple, but Considering we already have one, two, we got 12, 13, 14, 15, we got 16 on this truck at the moment. I could probably get away with one relay, but considering the truck and all the money and stuff you put into it, it, it ain't worth it to not just run a second relay. So gonna run two relays, uh, one for the right, one for the driver's side, and then you connect both the relays together for the trigger. So the, the push button switch will turn both relays on, send power from the battery to all the rock lights. That's what we're gonna do, but we got these two back here. We got three in each wheel liner uh let me tell you i try i need to make a jig or something because the little f rubber isolator mounts like putting them on like uh roll bars and stuff jeeps side by side stuff like that it, i mean it's good but obviously it's rubber so some of the holes were just a little bit off i had to actually just wind them just a bit to get those in there but those are in ready to go three in each wheel well three up here as well these are hanging out here and then as you just saw our secret uh <laughs> our secret addition here right on this first body mount there's a lip I don't know if you can see that at the moment but yeah that little lip on that body mount I just drilled two holes in it it's like on that front like outer lip and we put two rock lights on there not only does that give us light on the ground it's slightly angled backwards so it lights up that radius arm incredibly that's an awesome location only issue i came into is our power steps the bracket's going to come right here so that's why it's kind of mounted forward and kind of halfway down the body mount so when our bracket comes in it really doesn't block and same thing with the step it comes in and blo doesn't block uh the light also tempted to paint this i might as well just because so i think i'm gonna take our antenna out I, everyone tells me bullet antenna i know you guys are gonna freaking flood the comments with the bullet antenna but you know what i don't think i'm on that kind of level i don't think i'm that kind of guy yet so uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this antenna at the do you think i can powder coat an antenna um will it lose its radio like frequency i have no idea we could try it But yellow or red? I think you gotta go red. But also the silver works because of the wheels. We'll think about that one because I don't want to mess up an antenna. But at least I'm probably gonna paint this as well, especially with this liner out because I can reach up in here and uh, just get it. So I'm gonna paint those, paint these. These are already painted. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. That fuel line there because that's usually a pain. Like the. Please don't drop it on me. Wait a second, hold on. I don't know if I want to be on this side then. Just the only thing is, it needs to get under the, that was the thing getting it off, it like wants to get caught on something. You know what it is, but I think it's the bolts. 
That's so right. I mean, we're just like a quarter of an inch off over here. So we got the bed back on yesterday, and then I had a couple phone calls. Some of them you'll probably hear about soon, but I had a couple phone calls yesterday that uh, really took up the rest of the time of that day. However, in that time, my gear oil showed up, some push button switches showed up, and obviously our bed's back on. Uh, I gotta locate all the bolts. I found like four of them. I forget where my buddy put the rest of them, but we'll find them. We're gonna bolt this down. Gonna find these uh, Torx bits here, put the filler neck back on. Um, everything is pretty freaking straight in here. And well, after we put the fluid in the diffs, she's ready for her first spin. Uh, excited to see this thing. Uh, I just tried to turn it on to like air it down because I haven't seen it aired down with the bed on. And um, uh, she's dead, so we're gonna have to jump it again. But uh, that's the plan. We're gonna give her her first spin. And uh, I am beyond, beyond excited. Guess that's tight. that you know you can swallow your pride for two minutes oh my god oh my god that looks freaking so good especially <laughs> the red popping you probably can't see oh my goodness oh you guys will see in a minute oh wait you can kind of see oh my god <laughs> now that that looks that looks so good we gotta jump it though because it's dead got a fifth gen saving the day today he's making me want one he's making me want to do bad things but I will don't worry just gotta find the cables. <laughs> oh, we're good. So it's almost too much effort to sit there and bolt in one of the Longhorn seats. We'll be doing that very soon, but this might work. Let's see. Well, let's go all the way down really quick. <laughs> so dumb, but I love it. There's no reason at all. <laughs> Why is my camera system unavailable? What is that? No, it's just not connected. Oh yeah. I guess the first thing we'll do is take it in the gravel. Oh shit. <laughs> I can't really get a full grasp because this seat also moves. It's like I'm driving a bus. I'm like... <laughs> Color too. Like, what the hell? 
Oh, that's the a boost tube. <laughs> <laughs> the boost tube with no clamp. <laughs> Dri drive it and then go ahead and air it like up and down. Do you do it while you're driving? I don't know, but this is hard to drive <laughs> sitting on this chair. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this ride's pretty decent. Oh my God, this thing is like, I'm sorry. It's the pedal monster. No tune, boost tubes. Can go. I don't know if we can, let's see here, hold on. I wonder how this, I wanna watch the steering wheel when we go up because it should get crooked. I hit the, thank you. Oh, 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 oh okay. That's all the way, I think. Seven this is all the way up? Yeah. I get. I didn't even feel the front go up. Oh, dude, it rides so smooth now. I know, for even, I mean, this is seven inches. Well, right, but. Like, like you're technically not supposed to drive it like this, but like, this is like 80 PSI in the bags. So we're just, oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like scared of the turning radius. The guy's probably like, you guys have all the fun jobs. I'm over here getting gravel. <laughs> oh, this chair is so not, let's see if we go all the way down. But can you do it while moving? I mean, yeah, I, I did the other time. Right now? Like right at the, like this speed? Some ain't, some ain't in line at that height. I probably wouldn't, there we go. Now we're at normal ride height. But yeah, at low, something's real tight. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> you did say we're gonna have to repaint the whole side. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have not seen this truck in the sun in in one month. But two, one, the yellow's popping. Two, this this, <laughs> this lollipop red. Honestly, it's awesome. You can see that boost tube in here. But the lollipop red off the sun, it's gonna look freaking killer with these freaking rock lights running and all of that. But come on, Alpha Rex heads look sick. Oh, the red light bar, red light bar don't move. That's great. I I, I love this. I freaking love it. It's completely, completely unnecessary, but 100% necessary at the same time. Oh, I smell the DEF and all. I'm gonna send it all the way up. Well, I'm gonna send the rear all the way down. And the front all the way up, we could toot it up. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Now we fit in in South Carolina. We could do it all with this truck. Oh my gosh. It's going to look so good with these wheel liners in here too. And uh, once we get the uh, 24s on here, this thing is just going to be freaking nasty. Absolute nasty. Oh, I can't get over it. With the weight of the bed on there, uh, it, the level sensors kind of kicked the rear up a little bit, but I just reset them so it's low. Uh, this is going to be ride height. And that's like just perfect, you know, a little bit, a little bit up on the bed, but pretty much same thing as the green truck. Bed's level. You're gonna sit there and see that the handles are a little bit up. Uh, it's gonna look a little nose high, but that's gonna clear our clear our um, setup. And at the same time, um, it, the the truck itself is level, not exactly the body lines, but same thing as the green truck. And uh, oh, it's gonna look so good when you get those tires on there. It's gonna look so good with the Longhorn emblem. And even back here, it's gonna look freaking nuts with that Longhorn back here as well. Oh, I can't wait. All right, guys, so uh, <laughs> first successful drive in the Banana Ram. That thing is freaking nuts. Uh, I literally got caught up talking to people. I'm actually on my way to a meeting right now, but uh, <laughs> I got caught up talking to the guys on the other side of the shop. Oh, dude, awesome people there, but I got caught up talking to them. They were just like looking at the truck. They're like, oh my God. They're like, this is nuts. And uh, that in itself gives me like, gives me the pride. I was the same thing with you guys. 
in the comment where you're like, oh my gosh, you're building crazy stuff. And just, that is what, that's what gets me. And I appreciate all the support. Uh, I can't wait till this thing is done. You guys are gonna be like, oh, oh baby. I'm already like, oh baby, because I know what's gonna, I know what it's gonna freaking look like and I just can't wait. Um, honestly, I probably just pull the trigger. I'm gonna pull the trigger tonight on a lot of things. This might be a, uh, this might be like a $14,000 night, let me tell you. I got a lot of stuff to order. You guys are gonna be surprised by it. But um, this might be a $14,000 Friday night. I know, I'm filming this on Friday, and it's the same day it's going live, so while you're watching this, I might be spending a lot of money just to do things I've never done, and you guys are gonna be thrilled. It's really gonna boost not only the business, it's gonna boost me, it's gonna boost YouTube, it's gonna boost things I can do, things I can do at home. So I'm working on it, I've been waiting, I've been putting it off, but you know what, it's time. I was talking to the dudes next to me, and he said some of the smartest things uh, ever. And it, you know, it just takes some time. Uh, sometimes it only takes a certain, you know, a certain phrase that come out of someone's mouth where you're like, you know what, you're right. Um, but you know, life's about taking chances, about doing things. Um, and I've taken so many chances. I've shot my shot at things so often that when I didn't think they were gonna work, but you know what? That's that's what made them work. I shot my shot when I was, you know, worried about it. But I shot my shot and things turn out. So that's where I'm at. I think I need to shoot my shot on this one as well. And um, got a shift here. There's something in life. You can always get more money, but you can't get more time. And you can't, man, there's so many curves here. And you can't get back lost experiences. So, um, that's kind of where I'm at. And I think it's time, I think it's time to, to do it live here. So, we should have a, a lot of interesting things coming to the channel here very soon. And, um, the banana ram will be finished in all its glory here very soon. And I can't wait to uh, bring that guy, bring that to you guys. So, um, uh, like I said, all my switches just came in. We're gonna get the rock lights wired. We're gonna work next video, so Sunday, uh, probably Sunday. All interior stuff, that stuff will be knocked out and we'll get that done. Uh, what else here? Yeah, we'll get all that stuff knocked out and done. And then once the interior's in and all the heated seats work and all that, um, you guys just just get ready. That's all I got for you guys. Just get ready. If you guys enjoyed this video, shoot it a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, you enjoy this content, you enjoy this build, you enjoy any of my builds, please get down there, click subscribe, tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the uploads. YouTube's been funky recently, and a lot of you have been commenting that you haven't got the videos. So tap that notification bell, you'll get them all, I promise, I promise you, it's free, just hit the bell. While you're down there, drop me a comment. Seriously, I love seeing comments from you guys, so drop me a comment down below. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Whew, I'm excited, I'm just excited. Take care guys, I'll see you soon.